Establishing a docent in TAM, or for that matter, maintaining existing docents information in TAM is done through the docents option here. The docents option allows us to simply enter in information about the docent that's important to the process. So their full name, a username can be assigned or could match either way, an email address and other bits of information. There are different levels of docents. They can either be standard docents with limited capabilities or a manager docent that has additional capabilities in the system. For all docents that volunteer, we're able to assign optionally their availability schedule. So if certain docents are willing to volunteer anytime, that would be filled out that way. In this case, Lynn Lodi would like to volunteer for Tuesdays and Thursdays parts of the day. So again, that can be established in a system allowing the manager of the docents to know who's available should they want to assign people to a, an event or tour. For those programs that ultimately are group bookings in the event calendar in TAM, there are some settings that can be maintained that directly relate to eDocent. They're available on the Additional Information tab, and they include an ability to select the grade levels for classification of this event. So these are the grade levels that not only can participate in the event, but also are used for reporting purposes. And then you'll notice there's a field for the number of docents needed for providing tours or other services. Once this information is entered, you simply press Update, and that's all there is to maintaining and setting up docent programs. Once a program is utilized to book an event in the calendar, the events option in TAM will allow these bits of information to be changed should they have been done inaccurately or need to change for a particular event. Maybe you need three docents because it's a larger capacity. So not only is it set as a default here in the program, but it can be maintained further if needed once the event is booked.